Welcome back, Officers of Republics. Of course, Honorable Police Chief AP Gaines. Uh, this might be a little bit of a hot take, so let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, as always, I'll read your comments, and I might not have time to reply to any of them because I'm so fucking busy. Um, but yeah, so we're getting all this new stuff, and I'm just going to get right into the premise of the video. I'm not going to waste too much time because i got to get out of here. Um, I like the changes for free-to-play, and I know generally speaking, and this is why I believe it's going to be relatively hot take here, um, generally speaking, the more stuff that comes out a lot, um, you know, when you get stuff like a, a new, a new S tier ship, plus a new galactic legend, plus a new raid. Um, and I'm sorry again for two things, uh, yesterday, uh, thinking this was Calcastus Cause when I made the thumbnail, I read through this really quickly and I thought this said fallen order or survivor. You know, I didn't really read this. I, I, I can see now that this is <laughs> return of the Jedi. So I apologize. Um, you know, a new lifter and then a brand new character that doesn't really exist. And again, sorry for not being able to uh, to pronounce the word apocalyptic. Um, I was just so unbelievably excited. So I will be retiring from YouTube for 10 years for that. Uh, but getting back to my main point, um, <laughs> we're getting so much shit all at the same time. And generally speaking, this kind of scares a lot of free-to-play players because there's so much going on. And obviously you can't keep up because you're not spending the big bucks to get all of the juicy stuff. Now, why do I believe that this is going to be relatively in the good graces of free-to-play players is because I've seen a, I don't know, a, how do I want to call it? I I feel like I'm a preacher right now. I feel like I've seen uh, people moving away from the light. as it, Oh, shit, I forgot to do JC. I, I, I've seen people move away from fundamental roster construction. Um, as you see here, I have here in Wicket because we're going for the Nisa. Um, I've seen people move away from, from good, solid foundation, good, solid, you know, realistic quality roster construction in favor of like chasing the latest and greatest and the hottest um, and ignoring because chasing the latest and greatest and hottest is very effective sometimes if you are in the right place we've talked about this a million times before if you're within striking distance plus you've already finished a previous farm and you're kind of in this middling area like sure you're a mid-game player you can go after a new meta like i did with leviathan like i might do with leia if i'm feeling so inclined there are certainly opportunities for you to do that in specific cases but for the majority of early game players like almost all early game players obviously and a lot of mid game players who aren't approaching that six seven million gp mark um you know the overwhelming onslaught of new stuff can kind of get you going all over the place and and leaving fundamentals behind what i mean by fundamentals we've talked about this a million times i'm sure you all have been beaten over the head uh i always <laughs> never mind sorry i was about to make a really bad joke involving beating dead horses um but like you guys know that you should be building teams you should be building ships you should grow width wise as well as height wise you shouldn't be doing all of this crazy stuff you guys know by now what it is you're supposed to be doing but then when we get new hot stuff like new gls new legendary characters new backbone teams potentially in in the in princess nisa um however that may look people tend to kind of leave caution in the wind uh that's not even how this the saying goes correctly but they, they tend to do stuff that they wouldn't otherwise do and i think when we're getting so much stuff at the exact same time it's going to overwhelm people and they're not going to know which of the new things to go for and i think it's going to scare free to play players back into building good solid fundamental rosters and i think that's going to be good for them long term obviously because you know the death of any free to play player and the death of i would say a player in the game is doing something stupid like rushing a GL, realizing you can't compete in GAC, getting burnt out, getting sad, quitting the game. Like, that helps no one. That doesn't help. Well, we shouldn't really care if it helps CG or not, but they're obviously sad because that's a customer gone. I'm sad because that's a community member gone, and they're sad because they didn't have a fun experience in the game. So as we can hopefully get more and more players to kind of move away from the latest and greatest, uh, chasing the meta and trying to compete with whales the incorrect way, I think it's going to kind of be a return to, <laughs> this is why I say I sound like a preacher, a return to fundamental Christian farming values. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but but realistically, I am actually very excited that people might be returning to, you know, a little bit of sense in their roster, building a little bit of their auxiliary teams, getting a couple extra backbone teams before they pick up the next GL, making sure they farm out non, you know, not not just the S tier ships, but fleshing out the, the B and A tier fleets as well to make sure that they have depth and variety and how they can utilize their fleets i'm just i'm just kind of excited that people are going to potentially be moving in more 
fundamental directions, which is something that I enjoy because I don't like, I'm going to be honest with you, I get thousands and thousands of people asking me for advice. And oftentimes that comes with complaints about how things have gone in the past. And, you know, I, I would personally prefer from a very selfish level for people <laughs> to um, not be so frequent with the amount of times that they're like, oh, AP gains, I did this and this cost me 18 months of my life. You know, I'd rather it be like, oh, it begins, you know, I really went in for Nisa, but then I realized that I probably didn't want a Relic 7 my Ewoks, and, you know, I went back and I picked up a, a Maul or a Malgus or a, a a Backbone team where I picked up a couple extra auxiliaries or I put a couple extra Relics on some characters to make sure that, you know, they're Datacron farmable because it's new level 3. You know, all of the other fundamental things that you could be doing, um, I would rather that happen than... Oh, AP gains. I rushed, you know, I rushed Lord Vader, or I rushed Jabba, or I rushed the fucking Leviathan for some reason. But I didn't realize that I couldn't get Malgus, and now I'm SOL. You know what I mean? I, I would prefer that these kind of more extreme mistakes are avoided. And I think if there's just a ton of things happening at the same time, um, there is a higher likelihood that people will kind of realize that they're not going to be able to keep up with this and kind of return back to just solid good foundational roster building if that makes sense now i know the the opposite may be true as well people might uh, view this as an opportunity for you know going real wild and real wacky because there's just so much that they can do so there's obviously more mistakes that they could possibly make um i am aware that that is an example of, uh, of something that can happen as well and hopefully you know putting out a couple of videos warning people not to get sucked into the uh into the the jaws of temptation um will kind of hinder a lot of people but again you know there's 400,000 people who play this game maybe three maybe 250,000 of those people speak English and you know about five to ten thousand of those people will watch an AP games live uh, video every single day um, another 15,000 will watch an AP games video once a month or something like that you know what I mean so like I'm not gonna be able to save everyone but I, I think we might be in a position where you know hopefully if we can get a you know five to six to seven thousand people to put to not make that mistake i i would i would consider that a gigantic win uh for myself for the community and for those players as well just making sure that people kind of stick to fundamentals and not go a little bit i guess wild and wacky for lack of a better term um uh, I do have some exciting stuff to announce in the future i don't know when i'll announce it but it, it involves traveling for galaxy of heroes and doing some more irl fun galaxy of heroes stuff so i don't know the logistics behind that uh, i'll probably be talking to patrons about it and get some input there before i bring it to the public um so make sure you stay till the end of all the videos for the next week or so because i don't know when i'm going to announce it um but i know it's going to be exciting and i know it's something that you guys are going to want to watch because i'm going to make sure that people want it to happen before i decide whatever it is that is going to happen all right as always i love you and i will see you later